Metro Account, the Traffic Data Specialists. Hi, Vern Bastian, General Manager of Metro Account. In this short tutorial, we'll be focusing on how the police can specifically generate reports to look at times of the day, day of week, where speeding is a major issue. And how do you think that we might want to look at speed? Well, every jurisdiction pretty much around the world will give you a speeding fine in terms of money if you are exceeding the speed limit. For example, if we take a look at the state of New Jersey speed infringement categories, one to nine miles per hour over the limit, nets you an $85 fine. And so forth, 10 to 19 miles per hour over the limit, 95 miles per hour, right up to a very excessive speeds. So what we end up with the speed infringement categories is actually a substitute for speed bins. So let's look at that in MZ Exec. I've got a data set here. It just happens to be in a 40 mile per hour zone. Let's analyze this data set now. Tag it with a double click. Choose next. The report I'm going to use is called Metro Count Custom List, which lets us build a custom time series of the traffic data. Let's have a look at the default custom list, just to show you what we're talking about. I'll use the default vehicle profile. So what we see here for this particular school zone, a 40 mile per hour zone, the default custom list is giving us hourly time steps, total vehicles, and a class breakdown with some fairly basic speed statistics, mean speed and 85th percentile per hour. So I'll scroll to a full day on this particular Wednesday, would have been a school day, the 85th percentile for the day is 57.4 miles per hour, significantly over the speed limit in fact. So police, we're getting on the job. When is the best time of day to target speed? So using Metro Count reports, we have set up a new report style which zooms in on the speed infringement at this particular location. Let me show you how it works. If I go right click, properties, I've already prepared it. New Jersey 40 mile per hour zone, I'll choose OK. What I've set up here is still giving us the total vehicle flow per hour, but instead of vehicle classes, I'm looking at the speed bins, five to 40 miles per hour, it's a 40 mile per hour zone. And then above the speed limit, 40 to 49, 49 to 54, and so on, those bin boundaries are equivalent to New Jersey's speed infringement categories. So that's built into the uh, speed bins here. Now, you can have a look at the speed bins and there's a lot of zeros at the higher end of the spectrum, which you, you hope to see. You don't want to see a lot of speeding. Let's pick a typical day like this Wednesday where we are multiplying the number of infringing motorists by the value of the speed factor to essentially report the dollar amount per hour if you're able to enforce all those violations. Now what this does, it's a very handy report because what it lets you do is target times of the day when speed is maximized independent of the traffic volume. But interestingly enough, if we look at the times of day when the volumes are a third of the peak hourly volume, 200 vehicles per hour, that sort of thing, we're actually up around about $1,000 per hour $1,100 per hour of speeding. And this is just a fairly minor residential street. Uh, so it's a very powerful tool, lets you scan your data very quickly, lets you allocate your uh, policing resources with a great deal of precision, and gives you an understanding of what you could expect to net in terms of speed infringement. So what we need to be mindful of here is that we are examining every individual vehicle, cars, buses, trucks, etc. Now with just a few clicks of the mouse button, local profile, we can remove the cars and light vehicles. We could be just examining the trucks only. So what are the speeds of some of the trucks? Well, very low volumes of trucks on this road. Okay, it's a residential road, but certainly you can pick any particular times of day or day of week where those things maximise.